Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about hyperbolic functions. The hyperbolic functions, of which there are six, are so named because they are related to the parametric equations for a hyperbola. We begin with the two functions hyperbolic sine of x and hyperbolic cosine of x, which are written s i n h x and c o s h x. They are defined by the relationship where shine x equals to 1 over 2 times e to the x minus e to the negative x. Whereas for cosh x, it equals to 1 over 2 e to the x plus e to the negative x. In a similar manner to ordinary trigonometric functions, we have then x equals to shine x over cosh x which equals to e to the x minus e to the negative x over e to the x plus e to the negative x. Whereas for cosec x equals to 1 over shine x and cosen x equals to 1 over then x. Let us now look at some graph. We obtain the graph of y equals to cosh x by finding the mean values of a few corresponding pairs of the values of y equals to e to the x and y equals to e to the negative x and then plotting these mean values. To produce the graph of y equals to shine x, we find half the difference between a few corresponding pairs of values of y equals to e to the x and y equals to e to the negative x and then plot this value. For the then x graph, the graph lies between the asymptotes y equals to 1 and y equals to negative 1. And the graph looks like this. Now let us look at some standard hyperbolic identities. From the exponential definition for cosh x and shine x, we have cosh squared x equals to 1 over 2 e to the x plus e to the minus x squared. And we will obtain 1 over 4 times e to the 2x plus 2 plus e to the minus 2x. For shine square x, it equals to 1 over 2 times e to the x minus e to the minus x squared which then simplifies to 1 over 4 times e to the 2x minus 2 plus e to the minus 2x. Hence, subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, we obtain cosh squared x minus shine squared x equals to 1. Notice the similarity of this hyperbolic identity with the usual trigonometric identity cos square x plus sine square x equals to 1. Dividing cos square x minus shine square x equals to 1 by shine square x, we obtain cos square x over shine square x minus shine square x over shine square x 
equals to 1 over shine square x, which gives cosine squared x minus 1 equals to cosec squared x. Similarly, dividing cosh squared x minus shine squared x equals to 1 by cosh squared x, we obtain cosh squared x over cosh squared x minus shine squared x over cosh squared x equals to 1 over cosh squared x, which gives 1 minus then squared x equals to shack squared x. To differentiate shine x and cosh x, we use their exponential definitions. Hence, for shine x, we have ddx shine x equals to ddx 1 over 2 times e to the x minus e to the minus x equals to 1 over 2 times e to the x plus e to the negative x. From the definitions, we know that 1 over 2 e to the x plus e to the negative x equals to cosh x. Therefore, we have ddx shine x equals to cosh x. ddx cosh x equals to ddx 1 over 2 e to the x plus e to the negative x which equals to 1 over 2 e to the x minus e to the minus x. From the definitions, we know that 1 over 2 e to the x minus e to the minus x equals to shine x. Therefore, we have ddx cosh x equals to shine x. To differentiate then x, we use the identity then x equals to shine x over cosh x, which gives ddx then x equals to ddx shine x over cosh x. And using the quotient rule, we have cosh x times cosh x minus shine x times shine x over cosh square x. And we know that cosh square x minus shine square x equals to 1. So we have 1 over cosh square x, which means it is shack square x. Therefore, we have ddx then x equals to shack square x. To differentiate functions such as cosh ax, again, we use the exponential definition. Hence, we have ddx cosh ax equals to 1 over 2 times e to the ax plus e to the minus ax, which equals to 1 over 2 times a times e to the ax minus a times e to the minus ax. From the exponential definitions, we note that a times 1 over 2 times e to the ax minus e to the minus ax, which equals to a times shine ax. Therefore, we have ddx cosh ax equals to a shine ax. Similarly, we have ddx shine ax equals to a cosh ax and ddx then ax 
equals to a shack squared ax. Let us now look at this example. We want to find the dy dx when y equals to 3 cosh 3x plus 5 shine 4x plus 2 cosh to the power of 4 7x. To differentiate cosh to the power of 4 7x, we express it as cosh 7x to the power of 4 and apply the chain rule. Hence we have 9 shine 3x plus 20 cosh 4x plus 2 times 4 times 7 shine 7x times cosh to the power of 3 7x which then simplifies to 9 shine 3x plus 20 cosh 4x plus 56 shine 7x cosh to the power of 3 7x That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.